Hi everyone. Today I'm going to take us through downloading and installing the Community Edition of IntelliJ, installing the Codium 8 plugin, talking about the JDK because I already have mine installed, but to show you that feature and give a brief example using the Codium 8 plugin. So what are we going to do first? We're going to go ahead over to the Codium AI and go to the Dev Labs repository. From there, we're going to go ahead and download the zip. I previously already downloaded that. So now I'm going to go and navigate into the IntelliJ's project and to the get started. This project is the, shows you that the next step that we have to do is download the community edition. So I have a nice link there. We can go there and go down to the community edition and download that. For the sake of time, I've already downloaded it. So now what I'm going to do is go to the download folder and double click the zip and just validate that the zip has everything in it, which this should reflect the same as our projects over here, which we it does. And then I'm going to go ahead and install the IDE. So I'm going to double click on it. Your mileage will vary depending on your OS that you're using. I happen to be using the Apple Silicone, so I have my install folder and I'm going to just simply drag it over and it will install. Now that I have it installed, I'm going to go ahead and show you the application folder and show you there's the IntelliJ IDE CE. I'm going to double click on that. and open it up for the first time. I'm going to skip the imports and I'm going to go to plugins. There I'm going to type in Codium 8 and click install. I will accept. I encourage you to go ahead and read what's new and the reviews and additional information and here we can restart the IDE. I'm going to go ahead and restart it. It will relaunch the IDE for me. I will make this a little bit larger. And now what have we done? We went ahead and installed the IDE. We installed the plugin. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the project. From there I'm going to go to that project that I downloaded and DevLabs main to IntelliJ projects to getting started and I'm going to open it. I'm going to trust this and there we go. We have a new project. Now if we look here it will show up that it does not have a login. So from there we're going to go ahead and log in for the first time. I have already authenticated before and so my browser already has a single sign-on token. But if I click on sign in using Google, it's going to open up my browser and it now used that token and authenticated me. You might have to log in and establish your token whatever way you've chosen to use Codium AI and log in and create your account, that's what you're going to use. From there now, if I come back you'll see that I'm successfully logged in. Now, I'm going to go ahead and look at the project. I told you I was going to talk about the JDK, and here you'll see that this project, I went to Settings, and the project I have using JDK 21. You can download your own JDK here. So I can click on this, and it'll allow me to download different JDKs and where you want to install it. That's what you'll do and that would set up your JDK. But I'm going to stick to the 21 that I have installed and I'm going to go ahead and today I'm only going to show us about the Codium 8 chat. So I'm going to go ahead and close the tests and navigate into the projects and go to my calculator. And this is simple class. So I just have a calculator. I have nothing selected yet. I'm going to go to the Codium 8 and highlight 
the whole complete class because that's what I have want to give context to. So I'm going to say, hey, click here to focus. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to ask it one question. And what I'm going to ask it is to create a Fibonacci method. And what's great about this is that it created the code for me. It gives me an explanation, a little bit of notes on here. And so I get like a little class. And this is just um, as we'll go through other examples. This explanation really gives you a great understanding. This is great for beginners. If you're just starting out, I really encourage you to do different little classes like this. And this will really help you out. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and just overwrite all of it. I pasted that and I'm gonna go ahead and run this. So Fibonacci number position is 10, which is correct as you know, the value is 34. So let's recap what we did. We went and to the repository, downloaded the Dev Labs repository with the example, went ahead and downloaded the IntelliJ IDE installed it. We installed the Fib, um, we installed the Codiumate plugin. We talked about the JDK and we did a very basic example. Thank you so much for following along today and happy coding with Codiumate.